My name is, is Elijah Bunch. Um, as you just seen, we was up here with my son's mother, and it's, a, it's affected us terribly. Um, there was so much I wanted to say, but his mother and I kind of compiled stuff together in a short period of time. And I, was, I wanted to ask you guys, seeing that this is being broadcast live, and I'm not as smart as a lot of people here, but I want to get some words out for my son. If I could invite somebody to come up here and kind of help me speak just a, a minute or so, to, would that be okay? Sure. Randy, would you come up and help me, please? We Thank were, you. We were told that we might run out of time today, and I wanted to go into some of the science that they had just spoken about. So as she mentioned, and as the neurologist mentioned in his comment, in his letter, there are multiple dozens of studies linking Gardasil particularly, but the HPV vaccine in general, to ADEM and multiple paralysis, uh, autoimmune med mediated diseases. I have 50 studies right here, and I tried to get them in the hands of the working group, but I was not told that that was a possibility. This is just a selection of over hundreds of studies, case reports, but also epidemiological studies and meta-analysis showing that there are serious health issues following the HPV vaccination, not just in the U.S., but all over. So, in fact, you know, there's 60,000 adverse reaction reports to VAERS, again, regarding the HPV vaccine in the 12 years. 12 years it's been on the market. There have been 432 deaths, not even including Christopher Bunches because he's it's not included in the numbers yet. If this was a pharmaceutical drug, would it still be on the market? You know, I would love an answer to that question. I know you guys don't answer public comments, but Christopher Bunch should never have been sacrificed as a test subject on a vaccine that hasn't been tested properly and has shown so many adverse events. So in 2010, the HHS decided that Harvard Medical School should do a uh, report on whether or not VAERS was being used. And according to that Harvard Medical School study, fewer than 1% of vaccine reactions are ever reported. So this is Harvard Medical School. This is not us. This is not Christopher Bunch's parents, okay? We're giving you the information that pharmaceutical companies are not. And we may not be able to stand up there and present in a PowerPoint, which I would love to do one day, but this information needs to be looked at by every single member on the committee. So if you use this estimate from Harvard Medical School report that was funded by the HHS, that would mean thousands, thousands of children have died after this vaccine. And millions, millions have been possibly injured. And yet this vaccine is still on the market. And the newest version, Gardasil 9, has twice as much of the aluminum adjuvant, which is in most of these studies as the antigen that's triggering the autoimmune mediated diseases. Have twice as much aluminum and twice as much of the virus as well. So I'm gonna speak later on whether it even causes that, but thank you, Elijah, for giving me that time because he wanted me to help him go over the science thank to show you this is not just their personal opinion. Thank you all so much for giving us a minute and hearing our story. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Bunch, and thank you, Ms. Maynard, for sharing your story with us. Next, Ms. Hillary Simpson.